Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim Today I'm going to try to explain the meaning of surah al kafirun the displayers in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful Kul say ya ya is a kind of addressing in Arabic if you want to address someone in Arabic you say Ya Ahmed, Ya Mehmet, or Ya Fatima, Ayyuhal uh, Kafirun, Ayyuhal Kafirun, all together, the people who don't believe, the disbelievers, O disbelievers, La, La is used to make the sentences negative in Arabic, especially in uh, present tense. Abdu, I don't believe. La abdu, how do you understand? It is I don't believe. In Arabic, all present tense with the subject of I starts with elif. This is elif. Abdu, and it ends with u, uh, like this. Abdu, the endings and beginnings are important. Ma what that which or think which think that I don't believe what you believe here what do you believe this is plural you plural ta'abudun if it were uh, singular it would be ta'abudu but in Arabic plural ta'abudun Then, wala antum, antum, you in plural, antum. Here it it would be used, antum taabudun, but uh, in it uh, there is already there is already antum taabudun, so uh, it is general in Arabic to omit the subject wala antum antum you abiduna ma abud abidun worshipper this is adjective but it can be translate it can be translated as it were a verb ma abud what i worship here nor are you worshipper what I what I worship here again Abdu I worship this is we said this is not a verb uh, please don't forget in Arabic all the present verbs starts with Elif Te Nun Ye, elif, again, elif, te, ye, nun. So, if if you see a sentence is translated as it were, uh, it were simple present tense, but it is actually not present tense. Uh, mostly the structure is like this: a abidun. Uh, here we translated is nor are you worshipper this is the correct translation uh, of course it can be translated as nor do you worship uh, what I worship here wala ana ana this is uh, ana I in Arabic I abidu again nor will I nor will I Actually, here is not a will, but uh, we c we can translate like this: and uh, nor will I worshipper, will I be worshipper? What you worshipped, you worshipped. This is past tense. Abet tum. This is past tense. In present tense, in Arabic, the <coughs> new things. 
or the addings come in the beginning of in the beginning of the verb as i said elif ye te nun but in past tense uh, it is in the ending of the or at the end of the verb so uh, this is always like this it is very simple for example uh, in english you you may not know or you may not recognize where the verb is uh, at first but in arabic it is really simple wala antum you abiduna nor will you worship or will you be worshiper what i what i worship what i worship lekum lekum for you din religion lekum is your religion your religion this is plural if it were if it were uh, singular it would be leke but for plural lekum veliye for me for me liye me dini and for me is my religion now let me read all them together say all disbelievers i do not worship what you worship nor are you worshipers o what i worship nor will i be a worshiper o what you worshiped this should be worshiped and here nor will you be a worshiper what i worship for you is your religion and for me is my religion may allah forgive my mistakes i hope i can make better videos for you thanks a lot